Lytram Metro plans for Tiruvananthapuram, Kojikode, and Kochi, Kerala's MRTS projects. The need for efficient mass rapid transport systems, MRTS, has been an imperative for urban centers globally. In this regard, as per recent news reports, Kochi Metro Rail Ltd, KMRL, is exploring a different approach for Tiruvananthapuram and Kojikode. The Lytram metro system is under consideration due to its purported cost-effectiveness, sustainability, and operational flexibility. The Tiruvananthapuram light metro and Kojikode light metro projects are significant infrastructural developments aimed at enhancing public transportation in Kerala. The Kerala Rapid Transit Corporation Limited, KRTL, is overseeing these projects, with the Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro covering a distance of 21.821 km and the Kojikode Light Metro covering 13.3 km. This video aims to delve into the background for the MRTS plans, technical details within the feasibility study comparison of light tram or light metro or metro light systems with the traditional metro systems, cost effectiveness, the project details, the progress and planning for this system in Thiruvanathapuram, Kojikode and Kochi, the technical specifications of light tram metro, its impact on traffic congestion, plans for integration with other modes of transport, its benefits and challenges and Viability of the proposed Lytram metro system for the cities of Tiruvananthapuram, Kojikode and Kochi. Details for this video has been gathered from various news reports of May 11, 2024, May 10, 2024, July 31, 2023, November 2, 2022, August 27, 2022 and August 26, 2022. Hi friend. Welcome back to SciTech Buzz One channel. We wish to sincerely thank all the new subscribers of this channel. We have observed that 97% of our returning viewers, more than 18,000 in number and first-time viewers totaling more than 75,000 in number, haven't subscribed to our channel. If you haven't as yet subscribed, kindly consider doing so, after watching this video, since it would help us reach our first self-set target of 10,000 subscribers and encourage us to do more. Watch this interesting video until the end so that you will not miss out on all the details. Background 1. Traditional metro projects often entail significant financial investments and logistical challenges. However, considering the financial implications and other associated issues, KMRL has decided to explore a different approach for Tiruvananthapuram and Kojikode. The Lytram metro system is perceived as an alternative that can provide the benefits of a conventional metro system without the enormous expenses and logistical challenges. Urban Mass Transit Company Ltd, UMTC, will conduct a feasibility study for proposed metro routes in Tiruvananthapuram and Kojikode. Feasibility Study Technical Details Tiruvananthapuram metro is proposed to span approximately 45 kilometers. The estimated cost of constructing a conventional metro rail is around 250 rupees crore per kilometer. Conversely, the Lytram metro system is anticipated to achieve the same at one fourth of the cost. This significant reduction in cost makes the Lytram metro system an attractive alternative. Comparison with traditional metro The Lytram metro system shares many similarities with conventional metro systems. It is designed to offer the benefits of conventional metro systems, such as rapid transit, without the associated expenses and logistical challenges. One of the key advantages of the Lytram metro system is its operational flexibility. Lytram metros can operate at road level, elevated, and underground, providing greater versatility in terms of route planning and implementation. Cost Effectiveness Lytram Metro is deemed more sustainable and cost-effective, particularly for a state like Kerala, which is grappling with financial constraints. The significant reduction in construction costs, coupled with the system's operational flexibility, makes the Lytram Metro system an attractive option for Tiruvananthapuram and Kojikode. Project Details Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro Phase 1 Route the first phase of the Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro will span from Techno City to Karamana, covering a distance of 21.821 km. Number of stations There will be 19 stations along this route, including Techno City, K 
Kazakutum, Kesavatisapram, Secretariat, and Thampanur, Trivandrum Central Railway Station. Estimated cost, the project is estimated to cost 4,673 rupees crore. Kojikode Light Metro Route, the Kojikode Light Metro project will connect Mianchanda to Kojikode Medical College, covering a distance of 13.3 kilometers. Number of stations, it will have 14 stations. Estimated cost, the project is estimated to cost 2,773 rupees crore. Progress and planning. Tiruvananthapuram and Kojikode. Urban Mass Transit Company LTD, UMTC, will conduct a feasibility study on proposed metro routes in Tiruvananthapuram and Kojikode. The objective is to assess the feasibility and viability of implementing the Lightram metro system in these cities. The decision to explore the Lightram metro system is driven by the desire to address the financial burden and time constraints associated with traditional metro projects. Kochi KMRL is also considering implementing the Lightram metro system in Kochi to connect areas where a conventional metro is not feasible. Feasibility reports for various routes, including the MG Road Thevermarine Drive Loop, Madancherry, Fort Kochi, and the elevated bypass at Etapaliarur, are under consideration. This demonstrates KMRL's commitment to exploring innovative solutions to address the region's mass rapid transportation needs. Technical Specifications of Lightram Metro Operational Flexibility Lightrams can operate parallel to the road level, elevated, and underground, providing greater flexibility in terms of route planning and implementation. A three-coach light tram, 25M in length, can carry up to 240 passengers, making it an efficient mode of transportation for densely populated urban areas. Efficiency and Sustainability Light trams are electric hybrid trams that can be fully charged within 6 minutes and travel up to 45 kilometers on a single charge. This makes them highly efficient and environmentally friendly. Additionally, light trams are designed to be differently abled friendly, ensuring accessibility for all passengers. Impact on traffic congestion. Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro. The introduction of the Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro is expected to have the following impacts on traffic congestion. Reduced congestion and pollution. Light metro systems provide an efficient and environmentally friendly alternative to private cars. By offering a reliable mode of transportation, the metro can help reduce traffic congestion and air pollution in Tiruvananthapuram. Streamlined commutes, once operational, the metro will offer shorter commute times for residents, encouraging more people to use public transport instead of personal vehicles. Urban mobility enhancement Tiruvananthapuram's comprehensive mobility plan aims to accommodate the projected peak hour traffic of 19,747 by 2051. The metro is a crucial component of this plan, addressing future congestion challenges. Kojikode Light Metro The Kojikode Light Metro project is expected to impact traffic congestion in the following ways. Alternate transportation, Kojikode City faces extreme traffic congestion, with around 1 lakh vehicles entering the city daily. The light metro will provide an alternative form of transportation, reducing the burden on roads and improving overall mobility. Safety and efficiency, with 167 lives lost in road accidents in the city in 2023, the metro's implementation can enhance safety by reducing the reliance on private vehicles. Improved accessibility, the metro station's influence area will experience improved accessibility, leading to reduced road traffic congestion. Mian Chandaramanatukura and Beach Medical College routes, the initial phase of the Kojikode Light Metro will connect Mian Chanda to Ramanatukura and Beach to the Medical College. These routes aim to streamline commutes and ease traffic flow. Integration with other modes of transport. Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro Integration the Tiruvananthapuram Light Metro is designed to seamlessly connect with other modes of transport. Here are the integration aspects. Feeder services, while specific details are yet to be announced, the metro is likely to have feeder services such as buses, auto rickshaws, and shared cabs that will connect passengers to metro stations. 
these feeder services will enhance accessibility and provide last-mile connectivity. Interchange stations Some metro stations may serve as interchange points with existing bus terminals or railway stations. For example, Thampanore, Trivandrum Central Railway Station, is a key station that could facilitate easy transfers between metro and trains. Multimodal hubs, the metro system aims to create multimodal hubs where passengers can switch between different modes of transport seamlessly. These hubs may include facilities like bike sharing stations, parking lots, and pedestrian pathways. Integration with PRT, personal rapid transit Although the initial proposal for a personal rapid transit, PRT, system was scrapped, there might still be efforts to integrate the metro with other innovative transit options in the future. Kojicode Light Metro Integration The Kojicode Light Metro is also planned to integrate effectively with existing transportation networks. Monorail Replacement Initially, the Kojicode Monorail project was proposed but later scrapped. The Light Metro system is now the preferred choice. Integration efforts will likely focus on connecting the metro with other modes of transport. Feeder services, similar to Tiruvananthapuram, Kojikode's metro will likely have feeder services to enhance connectivity. These could include buses, auto rickshaws, and other local transport options. Interchange stations, key metro stations may serve as interchange points with existing bus terminals or railway stations. These interchanges will facilitate smooth transfers for passengers. Multimodal hubs, Kojikode's metro system will likely create multimodal hubs where passengers can switch between different modes of transport conveniently. Integration with existing routes, the metro corridor connecting Mianchanda to Kojikode Medical College will intersect with existing road networks, ensuring better connectivity for commuters. Benefits and Challenges Benefits Cost reduction, the Lightram metro system offers significant cost reductions compared to conventional metro systems. This makes it a more financially viable option, particularly for regions facing budgetary constraints. Operational efficiency, passengers can board Lightrams directly from the road, eliminating the need for climbing stairs to reach platforms. This improves operational efficiency and enhances the overall passenger experience. Operational flexibility, Lightram Metro can be operated on curvy lanes, providing connectivity to areas that are inaccessible to traditional metro systems. This makes it a more versatile and adaptable solution for urban transportation needs. Challenges Space requirement, while the civil structure required for Lightram Metro systems occupies less space than traditional metro systems, the width of roads in Kerala may pose a challenge. Ensuring that adequate space is available for the operation of light trams is essential for the successful implementation of the system. Disagreements While KMRL officials advocate for the light tram metro system, Metroman E. Sridharan raises concerns about its practicality and cost. According to him, there will be cost savings in the civil infrastructure, but the cost of trains will be much higher than traditional metro trains. Addressing these concerns and ensuring consensus among stakeholders will be critical for the successful implementation of the project. Conclusion The proposed Lightram metro system for Tiruvananthapuram, Kojikode, and Kochi presents a potential solution to the mass rapid transportation needs of Kerala. Its cost-effectiveness, operational flexibility, and sustainability make it a compelling alternative to traditional metro systems. Light metro projects are essential for sustainable urban development, and their successful implementation will positively impact traffic congestion, air quality, and overall quality of life in the cities being considered. Both the seamless integration with other modes of transport will further enhance their effectiveness in providing efficient and accessible public transportation options for the residents of these cities. However, thorough feasibility studies considering technical, financial, and logistical aspects are imperative before its implementation. Moreover, addressing challenges related to road width, operational logistics, and cost concerns is crucial for the successful execution of the project. With careful planning and implementation, 
The Lytram Metro system has the potential to revolutionize urban transportation in Kerala and serve as a model for other regions facing similar challenges. Stay tuned for further developments on these projects. Do let us know your thoughts on the subject in the comments section. My friend, if you have found any value in this video, then kindly click on like button as an encouragement to create better quality content. Please share this video amongst your family members, friends, and in your social media network so that this information might benefit others. Don't forget to subscribe to SciTech Buzz One channel so that you will not miss out on any of our forthcoming videos. Thank you.